so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. James O'Keefe has now uh, filed a federal lawsuit against Hillary Clinton and the DNC. Uh, man, she's fixing to go down. He filed a complaint with the FEC. He's he's fixing to uh, take her down, you know. And uh, I, I personally believe that James O'Keefe is a hero for doing what he's doing. Doesn't matter who's going to win the election. She's been exposed on a major, major level with WikiLeaks, uh, alternative news sources who continue to educate the public, like Infowars, uh, Breitbart, all, all these people, you know, James O'Keefe, Project Veritas, they've all been exposing everything that has anything to do with the horrible corruption in the DNC and Hillary Clinton. And uh, America really needs to wake up. We really do, you know, because, <clears throat> uh, you know, we just can't continue to allow this sort of thing to happen in our government and turn a blind eye anymore. We just cannot continue to do that. Now, you know, on a side note, real quick side note, I'm in Texas, and today is the first day of early voting in Texas. I went down there and casted my vote today. But you know, when I got home from work and checked out the news, it seems like the entire state is going to shatter records for early voting. Uh, Harris County shattered the record with two hours left to vote by over 6,000 votes. Uh, that's, that's an amazing amount of people that vote. Over 4 million votes have already been cast. 18 million plus people in Texas are registered to vote. Will everybody vote? I don't know. I, I seriously doubt it. But you know, <clears throat> if this pattern continues throughout the country, then, then we're just going to see the largest election in history. And I think it really has a lot to do with what some people are saying and what I tend to agree with is that a lot of people are not really voting for a candidate. They're voting against a candidate. And many, many, many people are tired of being sneered at by the big corporations and government special interests and these corrupt politicians who think they're above the law. And that the average everyday American citizen is a peasant. And, uh, you know, there's just so much happening in our government today that's, that's corrupt, it's horrible. And, and it's time for change. You know, if history repeats itself, Donald Trump is the change candidate. But we're gonna have to see how this election turns out. I know he has a huge amount of support, and it doesn't appear to be like that for Hillary, so I don't know. <clears throat> it just really is gonna depend on the voter turnout and the amount of corruption that happens in voter fraud so we know it's we know it occurs everybody knows it occurs mainstream media denies it but it occurs so anyway that's my little short video today I just want to tell y'all James O'Keefe is now filing a suit and filing a federal complaint with the FEC against Hillary Clinton and the DNC and Texas is turning out in record numbers on the first day of early voting Thank you, America. My name is Johnny Jetrod the Patriot.